Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome to Action Doom 2, Urban Brawl. Take it away, narrator. Saigon. Always dreams of Saigon. The stuff with nightmares. I wake up on the park bench. Guts really hurt. Almost hurt as much as my head. Got a half-empty bottle of bourbon in my hand. Brown paper bag. Jesus. Where the hell am I? Forget it. Not in Saigon. Good enough. It's nighttime in the park. Dangerous for some people, but not me. Gangs. They won't bother an old wash out like me. Not with the hassle roll me. I ain't got shit. Nothing worth stealing. My half-empty bottle of bourbon. Half empty, half full, whatever. It's cheap shit and it's rotting out my guts again. Go. Home. <sighs> home. Home is a rat shit block of flats with a stairwell that smells like stale piss and fresh vomit, concrete, and spray paint. Not much, but it's home. Home. Where the heart is. Yeah, my heart. I'm looking around, trying to find the will to stand. Trying to find the will to go home and face my daughter. Can't drink in the house. Just upsets my sweetest girl. She's only ten and she knows that daddy's killing himself. I don't drink in the house. I drink here on my park bench. Used to be our park bench. Now it's just mine. I guess the time's around ten. Nights are drawn in could be earlier. Doesn't matter. I left my girl on her own for too long now. I need to get back and play daddy and put my girl to bed. After that, I'll go to bed too. I'm walking now. Staggering, really. God, I must look like shit. Maybe I'm just imagining shit. Yeah. I'm the same perfect specimen I was 20 years ago. I'm walking. Picking up a little speed and trying to do a straight line. I'm walking fast. I want to go home. I want out of here. I'm not as safe as I thought I was. There's gangs here, standing out beyond the umber lights. Leather and chains creaking in the cooling air. Snap of a flick knife. I walk faster. I want to go home. Walk face down. Keep your eyes on the pavement. Don't bash in anyone with your drunk swagger, old man. Go. Home. I'm at the stairwell and the lift is still fucked. Climbing the stairs. I'm drunk, but I keep my hand away from the greasy banister. This place stinks worse than usual. Something crunches beneath my foot. It's glass, and I know it's a junkie's needle, but I just keep climbing. I don't stop till I reach the top because I see it. My door's open. She knows to keep the door shut. Oh god, no! I'm in the door. I damn near break off the hinges I hit it that fast. I'm through it in my lobby with the yellow paper and the torn carpet. And there she is, blue, wrapped in a sheet and sitting up, but she's blue. She's not alone. The bastard just looks at me, calm. He's sober and collected and he's a smooth professional. He tells me I'm a failure as a father. I tell him he's a dead, dead man. I'm wrong. It goes black. And I'm back in Saigon. Always dreams of Saigon. The stuff of nightmares. So that's the story so far to this game. A washed up old veteran and someone, some asshole, came into your shitty little apartment, stole your precious little girl, and, re and wrecked your shit. Pretty good intro so far. And you can see, you can already see one of the main reasons why I chose this mod of all of the mods out there for Doom. It's, a, it's rare to find a mod that has a story at all, much less a story like this. As for why I'm playing Doom at all, well, just because of some vague ass comment that I got from some bozo telling me, 
uh, on some video I made saying, oh, this is the stuff I subscribe for. And I, just, and I was just responded, well, what the fuck did you, what the fuck did you subscribe for? And, and he responded, ID. I don't know what the fuck ID is supposed to mean, but I was thinking, well, Doom is made by id entertainment or id something, I forget what the... All these companies have to have some name like in, uh, with, uh, with entertainment or international or or some other filler nonsense word that doesn't actually mean anything. And so I said, oh, I, get, I could play some Doom. That's the only game I know of that I've played before that has something to do with id. So yeah, here we are. If this wasn't what you meant, well, sucks to be you. <laughs> you should have communicated better. I even asked you what the fuck you meant and you didn't re respond. So we're playing this. And of course, as I mentioned, the reason why we're playing this mod specifically, reason number one, it's got an actually good story. Reason number two, the music's fucking fantastic. Let me show you the other reason, shall I? Let's see, I haven't actually played this game, this mod, in quite a while. So obviously we're gonna go in on the highest difficulty. Oh yeah, now this is fucking music. So. Here we are. They took our fucking daughter. Our precious little girl. Gone. And we- uh, and our- Home, our shitty little apartment home, is a flame around us. I bet they thought we were down and out for good. Let's show them they can't keep a good man down like that. But first... Sarah, you have the only woman left in my life. Yeah, I had subtitles off earlier because they were very out of sync for that intro cinematic for some reason. Anyways... Don't mind me, just getting a cheeky couple of secrets right at the start. And here we go. Some ex an extra magazine. Yes, it's a magazine, not a clip. And a baseball bat. Might get pretty rough out here. The bottle on the table to spare my knuckles will work out. We got something better. <laughs> Every punk and low life in the city was crawling out of their hole to find me. I'd have to use everything around me to survive. So here we see the third reason why I chose this model a lot. That being the gameplay, which is less, which feels less doom and more first person streets of rage. Got throws, got uppercuts, punches, we got Grabbing everything you can find to use as a weapon, bottles and shit, like I mentioned. Yeah. This ain't this ain't your average Doom mod where you've got weapons out the wazoo, where you've got guns out the wazoo, rather. You do have a gun. And there's a couple others later on, but, and, and it does, well, put people down right fucking quick, but ammo is very limited. I probably shouldn't have even used that bullet right there for emergency, so to speak. That's reason three. Let me show you reason four to love this game. You see that fire escape? You can climb it! And with this baseball bat that I picked up, I can break bust through this. Zirconia stolen. Is stolen, rather. What is this? The hunter me? Yeah. That fourth reason is not is the sheer fucking detail. Not just the gra not just in, you know, the graphics and everything. That's all well and good. But the sheer amount of stuff everywhere. Like, oh. Oh no, enemies are coming all around. Things are getting pretty hairy. I should call in backup. Things are gonna get pretty hairy from here on out. I picked up the phone and dialed the only man I could trust. Flynn Hagger. 
former fellow officer turned amateur pro wrestler. He was just the sort of friend I needed. Yeah, you see? The sort of stuff that would... In, in, in any other Doom mod, any other game even... Just be... Random... Background detail... <laughs> is hiding all sorts of secrets. I mean... It takes the ethos of Doom and other games like it of having just like peaks, secrets tucked away in every fucking corner of the map and turns that up to 13. You just really never know what you're gonna find. I play this game, this mod, so many times, and I've, and I doubt I found even a quarter of what there is to be found. Even if you don't count all the, well, you'll see. Spoilers. Ow! Fuck. I mean, the, the weapon. The weapons in this are also fucking cool. I mean, look at this. See this weapon swing animation with the bottle? Well, you hit him a few times and. shatters. Completely different animation. Pretty sweet. It's small, but there's a lot of small things like that. Like this. Come on. Huh. Oh. I could have. I could have sworn this bounce. Well, whatever. I, hmm. It might just. It might just be a technical issue. I've had. I've had plenty of those in this mod. But I remember it bouncing. Whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot to. That's a like. I mean, speaking of secrets everywhere, you see that window? Boom! Okay, I mean, there's not much here, just some bonus points, and I don't really care about points. Hey, okay, yeah. Shatter these windows, shatter this glass door. Good shit. Break these random trash cans. I found a pearl necklace in one of those. Stack of cash in a random stack of tires. All right, makes sense to me. Uh oh. Wait, where did you go, Flynn? Get over here. Yeah, Flynn's pathfinding is not the finest in the world. Oh well. Guess I can just drag these guys over to him then. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it looked like I just killed him by scaring him, by poking my, by, by like spreading my arms out and go and shouting "boo" or something. But yeah, man, I, it's been a while since I played, and last time, so long. In fact, that last time I played, these moves like kick and the throw and the ground slam, which I won't use right now because it because it damages me weren't even in the game. Ah, <laughs> uh, can't climb up there, unfortunately. Okay. He used to be able to throw the knife, but it was almost never worth doing, because it dealt very little damage. And it destroyed the knife. Oh. Come on, man. This may take a while. Look at him walking sideways all derpily. You- Ah! No! Damn it! Ah, uh, it's like watching a, those blocks on the screen. On the mo on the TV screen. Try- I'm waiting for them to go into the corner. Come on! Come on, Flynn, you dumb bitch. Huh? 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 Yes! Now, 
Close the door. Okay, good. Alright, sweet. Now, I am not letting you out. You will go that way, or you will stay here forever. Go. Okay, great. God, it's like hurting cats. Actually, it's worse than hurting cats. I've hurted cats. It's not that bad. Jerry talked. So full of shit he was fine at the seams. I'm walking this way, Christ. Huh? Oh, man. They changed it. Aw. They're the, <laughs> they're the whole th sequence here. Where are we? Where'd he go? Th How did you get there? How? How do you manage this? But anyways, there's the whole thing about like being attacked by the YMCA. The whole thing. It was pretty neat. It was pretty, it was pretty amazing. But oh well. Just probably someone got offended or whatever. They could have replaced it with something more interesting than that. Come on. Go! Go, Flynn! Go! Fight them! I'm not getting out of this. Okay, he's right there! Finally. Yeah. Die! Holy hell. Yeah. Damage is... No! I let you out of my sight for two seconds and you... Ah, whatever. The damage of this is a bit random, just like... No, 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 no! No, no, no! Ow! Fuck! No, damn it. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. What the? Is he fucking throwing? What the fuck? Okay, apparently he's throwing records or whatever. Jeez, he's kicking Flynn's ass. Ow. Well, actually not entirely. No, it was a pretty even fight. But now it's just become a lot less even. Well, you know what? I know how to even the fight. God damn, it took a lot. Get the original Doom. Oh my god, come on. Uh oh. What the? Do you forget those cat faces at me? What? Oh. I can reply in time by shooting you to death. I'm not dealing with a guy who's just fucking spamming ranged attacks like that without spamming ranged attacks of my own. He just decided to talk. And Flynn is off doing jack shit. Fucking help me! Okay, fine. And finally. Yeah, right as I insulted him. Alright! Told him to call me a cab and shake me two fingers of bourbon. If he could find a bottle that wasn't smashed. Uh, More importantly, he said his friend downtown might have the information I want. That's... okay then. I feel like chunks of the, the story are being cut out, of, cut out here. Alright. Probably did not offend the sensibilities of bozos. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, I was waiting for me out back, but something didn't sit right. I'd have to decide if I wanted to follow my Coney's tip and take the cab, or ignore his advice. Mob's not well known for their honesty. If only there was some way I could beat the information out of them. I think this guy used to be like cop wearing completely different clothing, like hot pink or something. Oh, I see. This is another thing they changed in the re-release. Uh, re they didn't used to have these big exclamation marks, but... <laughs> but th this marks something that was in the original. One of the, one of the other reasons. The fifth, I think, we're on now? <laughs> this game is so great. It's got actual fucking branching story paths and everything. Which is pretty fucking cool. I think I just double saved. Whatever. So yeah, we can take his tip and go in the cab. We can stick here and try and find some way of getting the information out of him. Or we can just go down in the subway. 
I don't know why we want. I don't know why we want to do that. It's a. It's... So yeah, obviously, punching him won't Jay do much. The hardened criminal, trashing him would net me nothing. Perhaps his car might make a good bargaining chip. But we could target some. While he, while beating his face in might not mean much to him, we could target something that does have value to him. His pimp mobile. Gonna bust it open with our bare hands. There we go! Busted to pieces. The last poor pimpmobile. I gave him exactly three seconds to grieve before I bashed his head through the passenger side window. Spill his guts. Both ways. The mob. The police. Contract kidnappers. Some hotshot executive in the Phylax Corporation behind it all. Phylax, huh? Getting a cold knot in my stomach. Phylax? Christ. Largest defense contractor in the country. Before my wife Jennifer passed away, she was employed there. If they're involved, this is big. I decided to take the subway across town to their corporate headquarters. I think to myself this might be a bit too big to punch my way through. But I'll try anyway. For you, baby. Alright then. Violet, huh? If you pause at a certain moment earlier, you might recognize that name. But why would a big old corporation like that have such an interest in the child of one of its former employees? Why indeed? This suddenly got a lot... This suddenly got a lot bigger and goes a lot higher than just some dirty street fight we've been doing so far. Maybe this is too, too big to just punch your way out of. So I'm gonna do what I always do when it's too big, when the problem's too big to punch my way through. I'll stab, I'll slash, I'll smash, and I'll shoot my way through until it is done. And I'll kick as well. For variety. And throw, of course. The keen-eyed viewer might notice that this wrench has the words Black Mesa written on the side. An even keener-eared viewer might recognize the sound effects it makes. Oh, and look at this. An actual fucking working turning thingamajig. Revolving door, I guess. It's not really a door, exactly. But still. Isn't this fucking cool? Uh-oh. Pythagorean Theorem is not on my side here. Ow, fuck. <laughs> Fucking throwing knives at me. They've got infinite drive to throw, of course, but when I kill them, they've only got one. Because it's always their last knife when, I, when they're dead. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> 
you to throw, where their numbers will count for nothing. Or I'll just poke my fingers out at the guy and he'll die. Oh. <laughs> Not mean to up up there. Whew. God damn, I'm hurt. Well, am I bad? Time to call in some reinforcements again. Things are gonna get pretty hairy from here on out. I picked up the phone and dialed the only man I could trust, Flynn Hager, former fellow officer during the amateur pro wrestler. He was just the sort of friend I needed. Oh yeah. I didn't even know that phone actually did that until recently. Although you may notice that he's not actually here. That's, uh, don't worry, that's not some horrible bug or anything. Well, I might be, but just gotta do this, God, my and... My hands. My hands are covered in blood. I don't even know if it's my blood or not. The hell with it. Doesn't matter. Let it bleed. The, here he is. Flynn Hager. The man, the myth, the legend. He just, you know, got a bit lost along the way. Yeah. So here we are. We've graduated from dirty street fight to dirty... Uh, train fight. Tramp corners, uh, corridors. Fighting from train car to train car. My kind of town. Here we go. Gee, why is Patrick so tough? <sighs> I just wish the I just wish the sound mixing in this was a bit better. I mean, if I turn on this, well, no. Problem is, if I turn on the sound, I think that'll t turn on the the voice of the guy, and that and and that's hard to make out at times. Anyway, already, which is sort of sort of one of the annoying problems. I mean, this game has damn fine voice acting. I mean, rare to find a Doom mod that has voice acting at all, much less of this quality. Why the shame that it's sometimes drowned out. Just like the music. Jesus. What is it, Hazers? Whew. Uh oh. Breeze fucking fire. Fun times. Okay, hang on. I wanna get through. No, there's nothing through there, okay. Nope, just you and me, it looks like. You and me and your infinite goddamn knives! There we go. Um. Oh, that wasn't the last guy, okay. Trying to get through because I was. I suspect. I haven't actually. I don't remember if this is the case or not, but I, there's like an end, a car at the end that if you kill all the guys in there, it'll be the end. But I don't remember if there's anything beyond that car that you can get to if you. Uh, I can't really help you there, man. That was just a bad situation to be in.
Ugh. No, no, wait. Ah, fuck. Damn it. I was just talking about it and then I forgot to actually check. Damn it. Well, that's a bad place to be. There we go. Oh nice, he took that guy out. Sweet. Now let me through! No! Damn it! Ah, fuck. Hey, fuck it, I'm gonna go for it. No, there's nothing there. Damn it. Damn it, I, I should have saved. After I won, and then gone back to the previous save. Alright, one by one. Here we go. This is how we win. Oh no. They can open doors. Like dealing with raptors. <laughs> Got smart enough to open doors. Uh oh. There is a cola there. Uh, a six pack of cola though, which is precious health. Uh oh. Another switchblade, come on. Here we go. Hell yes! Alright! Putting this down again. But we've made it. To wherever we're going. There's too many of them to fight. They're all around me staring with their dead, hungry eyes. Like ghouls around a corpse. The weed is the gang walk through the press of bodies. Looks like they got first dibs of taking me apart with their bare hands. Perfect. A duel of the day. All right, I can dig it. Wow, these are cr these quarters are cramped. Wait, rock steady, bebop. The fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reference. I'm almost done with rock steady. All right. Whoo! All right. Oh yeah! Flawless victory! Come with the floor in a bloody heap. Are you not entertained? Moving heavily, covered in their blood. <sighs> and only their blood. Step in. None of mine own. Lucky for me, sirens in the distance trigger their retreat. <laughs> you like better run. I had something to do with it. I pull myself up with some <laughs> steps and find myself standing with the fireworks. That would be really dramatic if it wasn't drowned out. Well, but all right. Shoot to kill. Wait, what do you mean shoot to kill? There he is. Oh Wait fuck! They've got weapon. guns. Wait that looks like played on sporting guy. Come on. 